Hi friends, Sierra here at the Edible Schoolyard, Kern County. Today we are going to be artists as we explore our backyard or a park near us and we create works of art that are impermanent. This activity is inspired by the artist Andy Goldsworthy, who creates works of art, art that will eventually return to nothing as they decompose, break down, and return to the earth. Here are some examples of the artwork of Andy Goldsworthy. He's created sculptures out of different color stones. Or colorful leaves. Different shapes and patterns. Creating things in the sand. Using different colors, light and dark, rocks, leaves, water. Sometimes he even uses ice and snow to create things that will eventually melt away. There's some with ice. And finally, some more three-dimensional with some leaves and grass staked down. And some larger works of art with big logs of fallen trees. So Andy Goldsworthy has been a big inspiration to me in learning that not our, all art needs to last forever. And so today you're going to head out in your backyard or a park near you. You're going to collect some materials that you find on the ground and create your own work of nature art. All right, so I went around the yard and I collected a few different items. I've got some pebbles, some bark, some still colorful but dying flowers, and different leaves and dry grasses. And I'm going to use these materials to create my own work of nature art, also known as NART. Let's go! So I used my variety of materials that I found outside to create a unique abstract nature art right here. Um, I don't really know what it is, but it's kind of like a stream or a caterpillar, a mixture. I'm going to leave it open to interpretation. Um, so you can head outside, gather some materials, and start creating. And you know what the great, the great thing about nature art is? You can always just remove things, rearrange them, and it can become something totally new. So that's something that's really cool about this process is your artwork can be constantly changing and at the end it's all just going to go right back to nature. It's impermanent and that's that. All right, thanks for joining me creating some beautiful works of nature art. I hope you feel inspired by this activity and by the works of Andy Goldsworthy. Go ahead, check them out online. There's so many more amazing works of art that will help guide you into what you might create in your own backyard. I'm excited to see what you create and I hope you enjoy.